the global security has faced serious challenges uh, and the system of strategic stability has gone all downhill. Outstanding regional conflicts haven't stopped. On the contrary, they have erupted again, becoming more violent. U.S. and its allies' withdrawal from Afghanistan has led to a new crisis, and uh, it's still unclear how this will affect regional and global security. That's why it is for good reason that our countries have paid special attention to this issue. Evidently, Russia, just like its BRIC partners, has consistently spoken for establishing a long-awaited peace and stability on the Afghan soil. The citizens of this country have fought for decades and deserve to exercise the right of defining what their state will look like on their own. Meanwhile, we are all interested in Afghanistan's uh, uh, ceasing to be a threat to the neighbors so that the Afghan territory uh, would uh, be a source of uh, drug trafficking and terrorism. We are interested in stopping migration flows. We are for Afghans uh, living in peace and dignity on their soil. I have said on numerous occasions that a new spiral of crisis in Afghanistan stems directly from irresponsible attempts to impose alien values from the outside and intention to build a so-called democracy, democratic structures uh, using the patterns and methods of social and political engineering without taking into account either historic features and disregarding um, the traditions that other peoples people have followed. It results in destabilization and chaos and after that the authors of these experiments uh, back down leaving those they have paternalized to their own devices and uh, the entire international community will have to clear up the mess as a result. I'm confident that we can ensure progressive development of the international relations only through guaranteeing the coexistence of states with different political and social systems, their own national interests and spiritual and moral values. However, we must strictly observe the fundamental principles of international law enshrined in the UN Charter, including non-interference into the internal affairs and respect for sovereignty.